Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so I'm going to tell you what I'm not thankful for. Patsies. See today's Guardian newspaper. The headline, Islamophobia plays right into the hands of ISIS. Oh, dear. Now, I get it. You shouldn't harass people for no reason. But Islamophobia is the mantra of that three-headed chump made up of media, government, and academia. If anyone calls out the biggest threat of our time, you may be called a bigot, a smear that discourages others from doing the same. If it hasn't happened to you yet, don't worry, it will. Even our president chastises concern for safety. Mm -hmm. And true, just a small number of Muslims kill thousands. But size doesn't matter, fella. A handful can do wonders thanks to modern technology. Oh the next 9-11 will make 9-11 look like 9-10, especially as tolerance patsies deem security as phobic bigotry, replacing a wall with a walkway. Sadly, if not for this liberal retreat, we could have worked this all out together. Instead, their cop-out creates division that enables horror as one violent reaction breeds another. When our leaders deny a fiend's words, events like Paris are needed to change minds. Democrats treat Islamism like a pro-fighter that must defend its belt every month just to keep it interesting. As hypertolerance fights phony identity outrage, a real apocalyptic threat spreads, which could explain the president's denial. The truth is, he's no match for evil, which is why he prefers chasing climate. There's no scary men to fight there, and all the blame can be placed on us. Dana, it's safe to say that the threat of radical Islam is not receding. I would say that, that is, <laughs> it is not contained. It is not contained. But no, the important thing is, is that it's one of the few things around the world that refuses to recede. We've seen things like AIDS. People are not dying uh, from AIDS as much. Or Ebola gets contained. But this is one and thing. Crime is down. And crime is down. This is one thing that does not recede. So it would, if you were a leader, you wouldn't say, don't worry. Well, I think, exactly. Yes. Okay. So, but there are some things that you can do to try to keep your, um, like, the heel of the boot on their throat, right, to mm -hmm. keep them down. Ooh, Ooh that's violent. Okay. So Love in it. Iraq, when, in CIA, Director Brennan mm -hmm. says that in Iraq in January 2009, there were about 700 Al Qaeda pre ISIS fighters. Mm -hmm. Today, that's grown by 4,400%. Why is that? And I think that's a legitimate question to ask. Like, why did all of our resources and investment get wasted to the point that now we have ISIS um, building the caliphate that they want to, even though they're not going to be able to? I understand we're going to stop them, but their territory is not necessarily shrinking, and, no. but they don't need a lot of territory to perpetrate huge acts of violence that kill hundreds or thousands. But that's a great, great campaign ad, isn't it? To point that out and say, this is what's happened under this administration's feckless foreign policy. Oh, guess who the evil twin is of that? Hillary Clinton. Put her in, see what yeah, happens. Yeah, guess what? The polls, I just saw a poll, a Washington Post, ABC poll, said Hillary Clinton is more trusted than any Republican right now in terms of dealing with terrorism. But I wanted to come to by, your by point. By Democrats? No, nationally. But I wanted no. to come to your point sure. earlier about Islamophobia, mm -hmm. because I think that if you make all Muslims around the world think, oh, the United States, they're, they're just beating up on the Muslims, they can't stand the Muslims, they're talking about registries for Muslims, they're talking about closing mosques, then it makes it into the Western world versus Islam. I don't think that's to our advantage, and I do think that feeds the ISIS narrative. I agree with you, but the point is, nobody's really doing that. It's kind of a straw man. President Obama immediately goes to the overreaction point. He says, oh, don't overreact. Rather than justice, let's do, let's, let's do something, which he happens to do with climate change, Eric. Every time he always says, climate change, comprehensive change. But with this, it's more like, whoa. Yeah, so this week alone, President Obama has blamed the rise in ISIS on climate change. He also blamed it on the media as well. There was a sound bite. Did we yeah. roll this, yeah. maybe? We rolled it, where he said it's the, it's the media's... Uh, Heightened rhetoric that's that's basically ticking off ISIS, yeah. and that's that's Dang. right. I know. Well, he means us. I get that. He means us. The only thing scarier than the Paris attacks is President Obama's passivity. That is, I think, that, and, and more dangerous than the, than the Paris attacks because I think his continuous putting his head in the sand about this will create a, a, the, the how, vacuum just, that ISIS just, just is looking for. Just for my for. sake, how's he putting his head in the sand? Blaming uh, climate change, he's blaming not the media. I thought you favored how bombing. Weather. You here's favor how. bombing, right? Hillary yeah. Clinton yeah, favors bombing. He's not bombing. bombing. I, I favor real bombing, not yeah, real carpet bombing. bombing. Not these since 2014. Fake bombing. Who's bombing? The United States or Germany? He's been bombing a long time, France? but he's not oh. bombing oh. very much. Okay. And I, can I just add that I agree with you, Juan, that the rhetoric isn't helpful. And I think that that can be modified and can be done very quickly, actually. It's not hard to figure out a way to modify your rhetoric about um, Muslims here in America and the freedom of religion. But I do also think that we need to say, 
What's the best way to help moderate Muslims around the world and these peaceful people that you care about? It's for us to, get, to do the job of taking out ISIS. Yeah, because they're killing they, more they Muslims, kill more Muslims than, anybody. than anyone. Oh, oh gosh, jinx. I had so we can get rid of ISIS right you now with the right person in charge. I've never heard that rule before. Well, I don't drink Coke, so oh, okay. bring well, me you a know diet. What you're missing out. It's a delicious I thought you wanted the Diet beverage. Cokes with me. Okay. No, I do. He said Coke, but I want diet. Mm. Well, I want diet. All right. <laughs>